if we look to recent revelations in quantum physics, we may find answers to support the bizarre possibility of the Bermuda Triangle being an energy vortex capable of warping or maybe even teleporting something or someone through space and time. No doubt you've heard of the Bermuda, or Devil's Triangle, in the North Atlantic Ocean, the 500,000 square miles stretching from Miami to Bermuda and Puerto Rico. Over the last five centuries, hundreds of planes and countless ships have mysteriously sunk or disappeared entirely, along with thousands of crew and passengers. Currently, the most obvious cause appears to be weather, since storms and particularly fog can create dangerous conditions for ships and airplanes to travel through. But with so many disappearances occurring in normal weather conditions, this theory raises more questions than it answers, leaving mutiny, piracy, earth changes, like methane gas eruptions, sea monsters, alien abductions, and the least likely option, wormholes. Wormholes? Well, as new discoveries in quantum physics are published, they lend more credibility to the more fantastic of these theories. In the last few decades, scientists have proven that the time and space continuum can be altered. Even the late Stephen Hawking, proposed the possibility that a wormhole could open and connect from a point in our space-time to another in a distant universe. With the strange reports given by those who survived dangerous conditions as they passed through the Bermuda Triangle, the likelihood increases that there is some kind of energy vortex which opens in certain atmospheric conditions. Could the mysterious and frightening electric fog and high magnetic readings in the triangle be indications of this anomaly of nature? And could it be teleporting the missing vessels and people into another dimension? What if the supernatural nature of the Devil's Triangle is simply unexplainable based on our past understanding of physics? The mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle go back hundreds of years. And here are some of the more famous incidents, beginning with Christopher Columbus in 1492. A well-respected navigator, Columbus wrote in his logbook that his compass was behaving strangely and, most notably, that he and his admiral from the deck saw light that was like a small wax candle that rose and lifted up. He later said, a glowing object would rise out of the water and head off into the atmosphere. Centuries later, in 1881, on one of her New York Bermuda trips, the schooner Ellen Austin bumped into another ship, drifting mysteriously without any crew. The captain ordered some of his own crew aboard the empty ship to pilot it alongside the Ellen Austin to their New York destination. After two days, a large storm separated the two ships, and after it had subsided, and the ship was found yet again, like before, the crew had gone missing. In 1918, a massive collier, the USS Cyclops, disappeared mysteriously in the Triangle after leaving Barbados for Baltimore, Maryland, taking with it 306 crew members and passengers. The Cyclops remains the single largest loss of life in U.S. naval history that was not the result of combat. 
In 1927, the first person to fly across the Atlantic Ocean, Charles Lindbergh, was returning to St. Louis from Cuba when he described entering a most unusual fog and having his navigation instruments go haywire. It was 40 years before he published his account of that experience. Seemingly, he was tentative about trying to explain the anomalies. Probably the most famous incident in the Bermuda Triangle involved 14 skilled pilots aboard five U.S. Navy bomber planes. On December 5, 1945, Commander Charles Taylor, on a routine training exercise, radioed aircraft control on the mainland, sounding worried and confused about his location east of Fort Lauderdale. He reported compass failure, and soon all five planes disappeared from radar. The Navy dispatched a rescue plane with 13 more crew members. Not only did they not find debris, they too disappeared without a trace. Sadly, unusual situations have continued with almost annual frequency into the 21st century. As recent as 2017, a young female entrepreneur, her two small children, and her pilot were lost somewhere in the region, though it was said shortly thereafter that pieces of the plane wreckage were found. Where do the vessels go? Well, because the Bermuda Triangle is over the Puerto Rico Trench and one of the deepest areas of the Atlantic Ocean, anything that sinks is not likely to be found. But... Do they always sink? When you consider the rare accounts, like Columbus and Lindbergh, of people who survived frightening conditions in the Bermuda Triangle, there is one commonality. Malfunctioning navigational instruments. But in 1970, one veteran pilot who survived life-threatening phenomenon in the Devil's Triangle told a story that took us deeper into the mystery. He since has dedicated his life to investigating what happened. Bruce Gernon and his father were flying at 11,000 feet from the Bahamas to Florida when the weather turned. It went from a light mist to threatening clouds. Unable to fly around them, Gernon noticed what looked like a tunnel through the center. He entered it. Inside, it had formed a perfect horizontal tunnel a mile wide and roughly 10 miles long. When he entered the tunnel, its diameter narrowed to only 200 feet. Gernon said, the instant the airplane penetrated the tunnel, strange lines formed around them. The walls were swirling counterclockwise around the airplane and slowly constricting it became dark and black, without rain. Gernon says, for ten seconds, he felt a strange sensation, like zero gravity, almost like slipping forward and yet floating at the same time. Around him, there were bright white flashes that were not lightning bolts, and they would illuminate the entire surrounding area. The deeper they penetrated the tunnel, the more intense the flashes became. He said, we could see the clear blue sky on the other side. We also saw that the tunnel was rapidly shrinking. I increased the engine RPM, bringing our speed to the caution area of 230 miles per hour. Light from the afternoon sun shone through the exit hole and made the silky white walls glow. When Gernon and his passenger finally managed to exit the tunnel, the blue sky suddenly became a yellowish-gray. He says, When I looked back, I gasped to see the tunnel walls collapse and form a slit that slowly rotated clockwise, 
all of our electronic and magnetic navigational instruments were malfunctioning. When he looked down, Gernon realized he was over Miami Beach. Confusion. Gernon had traveled a hundred miles in what should have taken thirty minutes in barely more than three. From this incident, Gernon coined the term electronic fog, which, unlike atmospheric fog, appeared to attach and travel with his plane as he entered it. Had he entered some sort of electrical energy vortex? If a vortex is simply the turbulent flow of energy around an axis, how did he experience a leap in space and time? Could the mysterious electronic fog and skyrocketing magnetic levels indicate that he was in some kind of interdimensional wormhole, inadvertently transporting him forward through space and time? Amazingly enough, if we look to recent revelations in quantum physics, we may find answers to support the bizarre possibility of the Bermuda Triangle being an energy vortex capable of warping or maybe even teleporting something or someone through space and time. In 1915, Albert Einstein hypothesized the theory of relativity, suggesting that massive objects could cause a distortion in space and time. In 1971, in the hafel kading experiment, two crafts that circled the Earth in opposite directions showed their clocks read different times, revealing time is not constant. In 2011, NASA released results of a 47-year-old study at the University of Iowa, which revealed how the mass of Earth dimples space and time, much like a heavy person may bend the fabric of a trampoline. Essentially, there is a space-time vortex around Earth. It's similar to a vat of fourth-dimensional molasses. An unofficial self-proclaimed Canadian scientist and inventor, John Hutchison, showed how he was able to use electromagnetic frequency to destroy and then mutate matter, just like in the legendary Philadelphia experiment. If the right frequencies existed in the electronic fog, then the so-called Hutchison effect could help explain what happens in the triangle. Since 1997, scientists have confirmed the ability to teleport particles in which the state of one is transferred to another distant one without anything physical traveling between them. Teleportation requires entanglement between the two particles, where the state of one changes the partner regardless of the distance between them. In 2017, the Chinese were the first to officially teleport a photon from the Gobi Desert on Earth to a satellite in orbit. In 2018, although the vortices that cause stormy space weather in the vicinity of Earth are invisible, a NASA-sponsored study developed a way for spacecraft to locate these elusive magnetic portals. These vortices are places where the magnetic field of Earth connects to the magnetic field of the Sun, creating an uninterrupted vortex leading from our own planet to the Sun's atmosphere 93 million miles away. These experiments prove many things, but all of them pointing into one direction. Anything is possible when it comes to space, time, vortexes, and mysterious phenomena. Even the late Stephen Hawking spoke of potential wormholes in the universe, saying, the only way to get from one side of the galaxy to the other in a reasonable time would seem to be if we could warp space-time so much that we created a little tube 
or wormhole. This could connect the two sides of the galaxy and act as a shortcut to get from one to the other and back while your friends were still alive. Such wormholes have been seriously suggested as being within the capabilities of a future civilization. But if you can travel from one side of the galaxy to the other, in a week or two you could get back through another wormhole and arrive back before you set out. You could even manage to travel back in time with a single wormhole if its two ends were moving relative to each other. Hawking went on to explain what he saw as possibilities for making this happen, concluding with this statement. What one would need would be matter with negative mass and negative energy density to make space-time warp in the way required. While life-threatening phenomena in the Bermuda Triangle may not be a constant threat, it's very likely that the conditions come and go as if being turned off and on. Perhaps this dramatic but rare phenomena only comes into existence when the conditions are right. It's also worthy to note that the area lines up on the Earth's latitude with other mystical sites, the pyramids in Egypt, the mysterious zone of silence in Mexico, perhaps Sharing latitude with these unique supernatural centers is more than coincidence. We may never know if those unlucky crewmen, pilots, and sailors met their fate at the bottom of the sea or in another dimension, but it is fair to say that in light of how quantum physics is unfolding, anything is possible. Thank you for watching and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you're new, please hit subscribe and the bell next to it to be notified of future releases.